The longtime Fox News star Bill O'Reilly is out. After more than a half dozen women accused him of sexual harassment, his departure follows the similar ouster of longtime powerful Fox News CEO Roger Ailes, who was also forced out this past summer after more than 20 women accused him of sexual harassment. Over 50 advertisers had boycotted the O'Reilly factor over revelations O'Reilly and Fox paid $13 million to settle lawsuits by five women who accuse O'Reilly of sexual harassment and inappropriate sexual behavior. A sixth woman, Dr. Wendy Walsh, has also accused O'Reilly of harassing her, then retaliating against her professionally when she refused to have sex with him. On Tuesday, a seventh woman, who remains anonymous, accused O'Reilly of harassing her for months with sexually and racially offensive comments and actions. O'Reilly has called the claims unfounded. On Wednesday, protesters gathered outside the News Corp's headquarters, handing out flyers reading, Danger, Sexual Predator Works Here, and Packets of Hot Chocolate, a reference to the allegation that O'Reilly harassed an African-American clerical worker by calling her hot chocolate. This is Annika Collier-Navaroli responding to O'Reilly's ouster. At this point, we are so happy that he is gone and he's no longer going to be able to spit um, all of his vile comments and everything that comes out of his mouth. It's disparaging not only to women, but specifically to black women and to black folks all over the world. So we're very happy to see that he'll be off the air, but we're not done. <laughs> we're going to keep applying pressure and making sure that what's coming out of these airways and what's happening in these hallways is respectful and making sure that women everywhere are given dignity. As the rest of the world was learning about O'Reilly's ouster, he was meeting with the Pope.